Hello, today we are going to go over the logic gates. There are 16 total and I might have to be quiet because that's how it is, but let's go. The most basic logic gate is an IO gate. You give it an input, it gives an output. Really. These next four are easy as well. The first one is going to be a NOT gate. Also known as an inverter. It has no input, it gives an output. It has an input, it gives no output. Basic. They used to. This one is a true gate. Uh, which means no matter what the input is, the output is always on. No matter what. False gate. The same as true gate, just no output. No output whatsoever. Mm, the next one is an OR gate. If either input A or B or both, it gives an output, just like the name. Next up is a NOR gate, same as OR gate, just with an inverted output. That's the N stands for NOT, so NOT OR and NOT was inverted, so we invert the output. So if either A or B or both is on, no output. Now we go to AND. AND straight up easy. And if e, uh, input A and input B has to be on in order for an output. See, nothing works, but if both are on, it gives an output. None. NAND gate, same as AND, just for the inverted output. So A AND B has to be on for no output. See, I've flipped A, still an output. I've flipped B, still an output. But if I flip both, there's no output. Now, to X or like this. X or all ex exclusive or however you say. But or what it does is when put one or A, it gives an output. The same with B gives an output. But if both are on, no output. Basically, 
XOR is you can only have one input on in order for an output. Now for XNOR. Let me just add some lamps. X null gate. So X null. The same as X all just inverted output. So input uh, A it turns off the output. Input only B turns off the output. But if I do both it flips back to on because this is off and then the inverter turns it on again now two very very basic gates are a gate guess what it does only input A gives an output, not B. Well, B gate. I wonder what that'll do. So now it's only input B that gives an output. Ah, the four lift. And these, you don't really use them that much. <laughs> At least I haven't used them, but I'm still going to yeah, tell you about them. First is A imply B. A imply B. You flip down A, gives an output. You flip down B, then it blocks A from giving an output. Until you flip B off again, then A works. Now, A imply B. Again, the N stands for not so inverted output. When you flip down A, it turns off the output. At A imply B, if when you flip down the A, it gave an output, not an A imply B. We turn on this, and then nothing works. Input A does not work when input B is down. Now, B imply A. <coughs> B imply A. The same as A imply B, inputs are just switched. So, now we flip B. It gives an output. If we flip down A, and then B gives no output. <coughs> and for the last today, it is B in imply A. The same as A in imply B just switch the inputs so flip down b turn us off flip down a then b does not work 
And that's all 16 logic gates. I will leave in the description a table of all the truth tables for all of this. Basically what a truth table is. Let's take IO. This. Zero means that the lever is not turned on. So this is a zero. Lever turned on is a one. Remember that. So we have zero equals zero. This is the input. This side is the output. So when nothing is being inputted, it gives out nothing. A zero. When one is being input, it gives out a that the basic truth table. In the description, I would leave a tool truth table to all of these. I'll just fly by them slowly. And that's it, I will see you later.